don't like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rapping like that. Hey. Right. Right. They say Steve's came home to wake the city up. I'm still up in the trenches with my niggas. Trying to give me one. All my niggas savage, bitch. We acting. We ain't 21. Bitch, I love my section. Hate the police. They keep killing us. We extra celebrate with the little homies. They turn 20. Yeah, yeah, you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification game. RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. Uh-huh, gripping on the Glock. URL Super Fight. Give me about five minutes on the clock. My man, Showtime SP, is in this joint. He does have his predictions. And he's going to elaborate what he needs to elaborate. How Smack said, the details and developments. You know what I'm saying? He's going to elaborate what he needs to elaborate and not fabricate. But let's get to the, let's get to the, what we need to get to. Sh sharper than the Ginsu. Um, URL Super Fight, March 6, 8 p.m. Nigga, so it's a two-day joint because they got to do uh, Queen in the Ring. You know, that joint, Kings and Queens again. And Super Fight going to be the day before. A long weekend in battle rap. Uh, Mike P versus Real Sick. Beat out versus Shotgun Show, Rum Nitty versus Holmes. The guy Danny Myers versus Kid Chaos. Um, there's a couple of dope battles on here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, you got Mike P versus Real Sick. That's gonna be a war. Beat out versus Shotgun Show, war. Rum Nitty versus Holmes the God. That's not bad. And Danny Myers versus Kid Chaos. Let's start off with Rum Nitty versus Holmes the God. Uh, Holmesy, you just had a battle with B Dot. Everybody knows what happened. Y'all wanna know what happened? He got smoked. Um, and now he's battling against Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty is, I don't know what's going on. Rum Nitty, like, he came back, he took Don Marino, now he's taking Holmesy. Are they making this nigga start from the bottom? Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He was at a, a level where he was battling the big names on the big stages. Now he's on his caffeine, and he's, like, battling, like, like lower tier names. Holmesy gonna have to throw the house at Rum Nitty because going into this battle, ain't nobody gonna pick you. Maybe some niggas in the Loud Boys, but ain't many gonna people gonna pick you winning. Uh, most are going to have Rum Nitty 3 0. Holmesy the guy can shock the world and can surprise people at times, but he's got to be. He needs more. Against Rum Nitty, you're going to have to either defuse what he does or have some punches. And the thing is about a lot of Holmesy's material as of late, he ain't really been punchy. He's been loud. He been rhyming, he been aggressive, but it ain't like he tried to use like the whole how to become how to be a battle rapper and all that shit, and I get it, but you're gonna need a lot more versus Rum Nitty. I'm not even gonna hold you. Um Kid Chaos versus Danny Myers. Um Kid Chaos is dope. Uh phenomenal MC has a dope pen. Uh leveled up versus danger zone. Been taking all the right steps, has his merchandise, and he's moving. Like he's doing the things that you're supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? There's a few rookies that are doing the things that they're supposed to be doing, and Kid Chaos is definitely one. Uh Danny Myers, the bar guy, comes off of a battle with um Arsenal where he just three old Ars and he's now back on a little super fight card. And he's got Don Marino this weekend too. Danny Myers. New nigga Myers is his name. He just battled all the new niggas. Danny Myers is a new gatekeeper. He's battling every single new person in the world. He's gonna have a battle with Taco Bell Tony next week. Um, in this battle, I gotta be in a dope battle. Uh, Kid Chaos is gonna have to level up versus Danny Myers because you know what you're getting with Danny Myers. Danny Myers is on the last super fight card. Who am I? Who am I? I've been stashed the bean back to bean back. Got him out of here. You know what I'm saying? Got it, got it. You already know. I am. I don't even have to say nothing about it. You upper room. Sent that nigga to Mars. Um, Danny Myers, K Chaos. I got Danny Myers 2 1. Uh, coming off that Arsenal performance. And being that Danny Myers is able to break his opponent down and being able to use high level bars, Kid Chaos could get around it in there. Or maybe two. He could potentially. This could potentially be a war. But I've got Danny Myers uh, 2 1. Um. Beat out versus Shotgun Sugar. Everybody's picking Beat out to win again. Shotgun Sugar. Uh, you know, Shotgun Sugar was on his whole pen thing. He won the pens, won the pens, won the pens. He got the pens, and it all depends on how it depends. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it really. He got the pens. He had a couple of cool ones, but no real clear smoke. He didn't smoke any of the pens. Um, he's a big stage artist. Um, but he's been battling in these small rooms because, you know, the whole COVID shit. 
And uh, B Dot has all the intangibles. He can rap in the small rooms. He's angry off of his performance versus Chilla, where he didn't win. And now he's going against uh, Shotgun Suge. Everybody, see the thing is, this could potentially be a trap game for B Dot because everybody's got you picked to win. So when everybody's got you picked to win, you kind of gotta win. And B Dot should win. But Shotgun Sugar has surprised people before. He battled Mike P in a small room. Uh, he battled Rum Nitty in a small room. Uh, he battled, this was, we're not going to act like he don't got the experience, but going into it, I'm going B Dot 2 1, closer than some of you may think, though. I know a lot of y'all like, oh, he's getting smoked 3 0 and shit like that. But Shotgun Sugar has been very adamant about what happens when I win. What happens when I win? Oh, ex excuse me. you going to win? Oh, you're going to win? Oh, okay. I didn't know you was going to win. You you must know something that I don't know. And if you do, we'll jump right back in front of these cameras and give you a win, give you admiration, props, and all of that because that's what you deserve. But going into it, uh, B-Dot wants to uh, get his shit back from, from, from last year. Last but not least, uh, main event, Mike P versus Real Sick. We haven't seen Mike P since the Bill Collector battle and most notably that before Ryder battle. Um, you know, dope pen. He's able to take it to different levels, and we're going to see where it goes. Uh, a lot of people had it being battle of the night. Real Sick interjected and said body of the night. Real Sick is going to really try to make an example out of Mike P. Um, out of any battle on this card, this is a battle that Mike P needs to win. Needs to win because Real Sick could really do a lot for his catalog with this battle. Um, honestly, I got the battle debatable. I think the battle is going to come down to the third round. Um... I got them split in the first two rounds, and the third is going to be a debatable. Um, I, I, that's how I call it, you know what I'm saying? I just got the battle being debatable. I know Mike P could take it to different levels and shit like that, and Real Sick is really, really nice with that pen. Like, presence, pen, accuracy, bars, all that and all of that. I, 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 it's just one of those It's a toss-up for me, you know what I'm saying? I don't have a clear, definitive winner, but we will have one on um, March 7th, so shh, grab your weapon. Showtime, take me away. You thought you was just gonna do this without me? You thought you you, you thought that you was just gonna see his prediction and then not mine? Or you thought that you wasn't gonna see me? You, you what you thought? What you what you Y'all keep y'all keep debating on whether this ain't gonna work. Well let me tell you niggas something. It's working. It's working. I'm having the time of my life right now. You know what I'm saying? They had to take the earrings away from me because apparently I gotta keep sharp sharp objects away from me, so I'll just leave that at that. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies. Pow! What's good, body? How you, bro? You good? You living? You living? I see you. I see you. you I see you. I see you. You know what I'm saying? I like your digs. I like all of that. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? But I'm here to talk about the super fight. The two-day event, but I'm only here to talk about the one card. We're going to copy and paste to watch the throne, and we're going to throw it right there. But we are here to talk about Super Fight 2 or the URL surprise card or the out of nowhere card or I have no idea what they're calling this card because all I saw was literally the names of the bat. You know what I'm saying? So where's the trailers at? We won't get no trailers no more. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is because of that? Is it because of the whole quarantine thing? Niggas can't just shoot trailers and shit like that. That's that's what's up. That's fine. I'm cool with that. I, I'll allow it. But. I got to use what I got, and I'm going to use all of the information that has been presented in front of me, and I'm going to tell y'all who I think is going to win. I'm also going to tell you how these battles may be flick, roll, smoke, or fire. That's how I get down. We're going to start it off with the uh, the uh, the battle that was supposed to happen um uh, uh, the last event on Volume 7, and it didn't, so we're going to talk about B-Dot versus Shug. B dot versus Suge is still that battle that I I, I really want I, I want to see it now. I wasn't motivated to see it on that volume seven card, but to me I feel as though that this battle is going to be a lot more built up. I think it's gonna be a lot more polished. I also feel like this battle it has went from flick to roll. I'ma just roll with it because of the fact that I think that the preparation time has been been pushed back another three weeks or four weeks or a month. 
So I believe that the preparation should be there for both. But I still got beat out winning the battle. I still got beat out 2-1. Um, Suge still got a lot to prove. It's not like he has a lot to prove to y'all or to us. He just got a lot to prove that he wants to prove to himself. He says that he wants to go up against the high pins and beat out as one of those pins that are of the elite. What does it ha what does it ha what happens if Suge beats B dot? Suge just gets another name that is a of a of a higher quality pin than B dot. But there isn't that many people that's left out there for Shotgun Shug. So Shotgun Shug is kind of at that catch-22. But it's going to be good to see Shug 92 pounds, uh, about to say he's 92 pounds away from his goal. So it's going to be good to see Skinny Shug again. So it's kind of a, a return of Shug, but not really the return of Shug because the last time we saw Shug was versus Brooklyn Haynes. So I hope we get a full three rounds. Another thing that's going to come into play is the time limit. Suge always gives you just enough time. B dot is going to go over that time, so I, I clearly I'm, I'm going to have B dot winning this battle. He's going to have more substance. He's going to have a lot more time on it, and not to mention he's only been tweaking it. So I got B dot beating Suge two one. Next battle up on the card that I want to talk about. I think I need to talk about it. It's obvious. This battle to me is just going to be roll as well, and it's going to be Holmesy the guy versus Rum Nitty. Now. Holmesy um, has definitely proved himself to be getting the names. I mean, for goodness sake, he already won. He, he's already the ultimate madness uh, uh, two winner. So he got that bag. He the hunger, the hunger that he's brought to the table against those other guys, and and not to mention he had to take it light on his brother, uh, Bill Collector, and he still gave us some good potential. But let's not act like we don't remember Holmesy the guy versus B now, okay? B dot, I mean, uh, B dot smoked Holmesy, smoked him. Holmesy tried a different type of, of how to battle rap, how to uh, uh, how to do this shit, and it was so entertaining. But it just seemed like B dot was just levels above him in that battle. Rum Nitty ain't B dot, okay? But B dot has beaten Rum Nitty, so you gotta beat the man that beat the man. Ric Flair said it best in order to be the man, you gotta beat the man. So that man beat beat uh 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 uh, uh so you mean to tell me if B dot beat uh Rum Nitty and you lost clearly to B dot, I gotta go with Rum Nitty the same way, man. I'm I'm gonna go with it. I would love to see that hunger. Please change my mind, Holmesy. You know I'm sitting here and I'm watching. And I'm carefully crafting all of these rounds to be broken down. If this battle does end up becoming to be fire or smokable, I'm going to be right here on this camera to tell you, yo, this battle is really, really dope. But to me, this is a clear-cut clear cut Rum Nitty win. What happens to Rum Nitty after he beats Holmesy? Nothing happens to Rum Nitty when he beats Holmesy. But when Holmesy beats Rum Nitty, it's going to put him up is going to bring him back up to that level where he's going to be getting a lot of those hungry people. So if all we need is a good battle from you, Holmesy. All we need you to make this battle debatable. But this is Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty barely makes battles debatable. Barely. I want to say barely. I mean, we've been seeing the glimpses. You know, he does have a couple chinks in the armor. He does have a couple losses that are like unofficial losses. We, you know, you know who he lost. I'm just saying... Rum Nitty is way more prepared and way more... I think that Rum Nitty has all of the things that he can do for Holmes. The Holmes flips. The God flips. The name flips. Come on, man. Come on. I, it, it's going to be an obvious pick. Prove me wrong. Please prove me wrong. I, I, I will sit right here and be proven wrong. I'm in the asylum because I was proven wrong. All right? Now, the battle that I personally think is going to be the battle of the night is going to be the next battle that I'm going to bring up. And I'm going to explain to you why. I think the battle of the night is going to be Danny Myers versus Kid Chaos. That's my personal pick. For the battle of the night, I'm already smoking it. I'm already smoking this one. Because Danny Myers has been on a spree where he's been battling the top tier guys or the higher tier guys. And he's been debatably beating them. But when it comes to this new era, or the new RL as they call it, Danny ain't been beaten. And I want to say that to say, because you saw what happened versus Easy the Block Captain. Easy got the skyrocket push after that Danny battle. Kid Chaos, you can do the same thing. 
and literally push yourself up to the stratosphere. Here is the key. You can do the same thing and literally push yourself up to the stratosphere. Here is the caveat to that, though. No matter what happens after this battle, you're still gonna talk. Or you're still gonna be in talks with Chilla, battling Chilla, battling Chilla. It needs to be Kid Chaos and Chilla. Here's the crazy part. Chilla lost to Danny Myers on RBE, and it was a judge battle. So, what we doing here? What what are we doing here? You have to make this battle clear cut. Uh, uh, King Chaos has a lot to prove because of the fact that he's done a lot of the, uh, the, 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 he makes a battle rapper really like, really gotta evaluate himself. You know what I'm saying? Like, because of the way that King Chaos writes and the status with Danger Zone, that writing style was wonderful. It was amazing. Not to mention, you have peaked. I remember shit like that. With Saga, same thing. Come on, dog. It's, it's the set. Bro, it's the way you put shit together is the reason why a lot of us uh, 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 gravitate to KKS and we love that pen. Or I don't want to say we, I'm going to say me. I love that type of writing because not only is it direct, this was carefully crafted for you. Not only did I carefully craft these bars for you, I'm not just reading them. I'm going to act them out. I'm going to do all of the motions. And not to mention, you need to look at yourself, Daniel. And I like the way that Kid Chaos writes that way. But Danny can do it too. Danny don't have to break you down. Danny can do a lot of kid flips. He can do a lot of chaos flips. He can do a lot of drug references. He can do a lot of stuff where you, just because you was locked, don't mean that I don't know niggas that was locked. Danny has a lot to offer in this battle. This battle has the potential to be fire because neither one of these niggas can lose. If Kid Chaos loses this battle, he gets pushed back down, and then therefore, oh, he ain't gonna be as good as easy. He ain't gonna be good as real sick. Because those are the guys who have literally made a lot of the vets bleed. A lot of the vets bleed. That's what easy has done. Kid Chaos is along the same lines. He's made a lot of these vets bleed. He's 30 vets, but... The vets that were the vets don't have the higher stature name. And that's no disrespect to the Saga. But we understand Saga was on that downhill. He was on that decline. Are we going to give excuses to the Saga? Or are we going to uplift uh, Kid Chaos? I'm uplifting Kid Chaos. Thing about Danny Myers is Danny Myers can lose battles. And he still gets booked because he's going to take whoever's offered in front of him. And if he loses this battle, he's going to smoke the next nigga. Danny don't stay down. This battle has the potential to be fire. I'm praying it's fire. I'm praying it's fire. But I gotta go with the vets and I'm gonna say I got Danny 2-1. I'm gonna say Danny 2-1 on this one. A lot of people are saying 30s. That's fine. But all I'm saying is that this battle has the potential to even be so good because of the writing styles of both of the uh, uh, combatants. Last battle, and it's the top battle, and it's actually the most voted going to be the battle of the night. Me personally, I kind of got a different of opinion, a difference of opinion. Real sick versus Mike P. God. Okay. 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 It's not a style. It's not a style clash. These they don't look alike, but you see the similarities between the two. Right? You see the similarities between Mike P and Real Sick is because of the fact that they both have bars and and it's just a way that they have that emotional factor. Real Sick is more intimidating because he mad. You know, that Real Sick is not a small dude. This dude look like he, just, he be doing reps before he go out on the, on before he go to battle he do like 35 to a thousand push-ups before depending on how far the battle is on the card he gonna be doing push-ups until then his arm is gonna be linguine noodles but that nigga gonna look brolic as fuck standing in front of mike p but we ain't heard from mike p since bill collector correct me if i'm wrong but that battle bill collector got mike p up out of here but let's not 
forget the fact that Mike P really wasn't even supposed to be in Ultimate Madness. He had already beat the saga. He had already, like, clearly beat the saga, and saga was choking. Mike P already was on his high horse. He could have rode off into the sunset until then, but he wanted to stretch himself. He wanted to, he wanted to basically see if he could put himself in that tournament, and he made it to the second round. He survived Ryder, and Ryder had everything for him. He had everything. Mike P got that chip on his shoulder, too. He wanted to come back and smoke something. He got to smoke something. Mike P's coming back to smoke something, if not everything. I just feel like Real Sick ain't going to let him just smoke it. He rolled his own pack. You going to match me, but I'm not passing, my nigga. I'm going to sit here and smoke mine. You smoke yours. We'll just debate on who has the better smoke. I I, I, I just, I, I got to, I got to pick one though, right? So, of course, I got to go with the vets, man. I'm going with somebody who has more experience. I got to go with Mike P21. And I'm going to say this. Mike P beat Twerk when Twerk was on the run. On a tear. Mike P put a stop to that. Mike P is one of the only people that battled Daylight on URL. The only other person that can say that is Daylight. I mean, Daylight. I'm uh, sorry. The only, person, only other person that can say that is Tay Rock. And, and T-Top, we don't really count that. Like, that battle kind of was just a one round. We kind of just going to throw that out the window. Um, Overall, I think this card, it, it just feels exhibition-y. It feels quarantine. Um, It feels, it, it just feels like it's about to just be, there's no motivation behind it. Um, And I'm already going over uh, uh the time limit. So, so Vada, just, just, just go ahead and, you know, just take me on out of here. But this Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies. I'm sitting here and I'm watching and I'm doing these recaps two days straight and nothing but blogs or something they got to deal with. Killer, killer, stretch you one. Oops, I mean, kill you one. Matter of fact, steal you one. Bitch, they call me Steve. Two, three, bitch, I'm the realest one. <laughs> bitch, I'm the realest one. Bitch, I get a rush when I see a second extra slug. You looking at the realest, huh? Walk up in the bed and make them feel it, feel it. I'm hot like fresh bacon out the skillet. Selling dope from Forest Lane back to skill me. You feel me? I won't put the pole down, let that one roll. Getting money at the top of my agenda. They try